Hello everybody, this is Arlene. I'm just going to wait. This is a live broadcast on um, on Tuesday night and on Facebook and I'll put it later on YouTube. I'm going to wait as people join and come in. Hang on just a second. Yeah, alright. Alright, so we're going to start with this guy uh, right away. And hello everybody, welcome back. What I did was I drew the face. I'll wait just a couple seconds yet. I'm sorry I'm a couple minutes late tonight. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, Jane. Welcome back. Let's just get to a couple minutes here. A couple of seconds, not a couple of minutes. I hope you all had a nice uh, Mother's Day weekend. It's been a couple of weeks since I've seen you. And uh, we're going to work on this. Hello, Rhonda. Hello, hello, everyone. Okay, so I'm going to start. We're going to do the zebra next. I'll be very honest with you. This zebra was not the easiest for me to figure out how to do. Why? For two reasons. The shape of his head is ears come up straight on a horse. Like, um, uh, hello, Jack and Jenny, my family from the north. How you all doing in Canada there? Uh, I hope things are getting better up there. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Randy. I just took a swig of my hot chocolate. So we're going to be doing this little guy tonight, and we're going to, um, this was not the easiest project for me for some reason. I don't know why, but, um... I went ahead, his ears come down quite a ways, so there were two things that was really kind of difficult with him, is figuring out his head for me, and also where to put the stripes on him. I found the thinner the stripes, the better. So, anyway, let's start. We're going to cut, I put the oval for his face in the center, and we're working from a corner. The size of the block is an ornament size, it's one and a half, oh, well, two and a half inches tall by one and a half by one and a half square. And so I'm going to start right here. We're going to push this in and we're going to just chop a little piece out here. There we go. Go at the top here and I'm going to come straight down. And we're going to Bring this back a little bit here. Okay. Now, what I'm trying to do is um, I'm trying to get the ears out where I need them. So the head's going to be back a little bit. So we're going to first do the shape of the head. I have the two things marked here. So we're just going to follow that with a V-tool. A little V-tool. It's a three and a half V-tool. All right, and we're going to come up this way. Hopefully it will be somewhat similar to the other side. It's hard to match the two sides up. I hope everybody had a nice Mother's Day weekend and uh, everybody's good and healthy. I got my two shots. I'm happy. I'm done with it for now. And hopefully once they open the border, I'll be able to go see my family up there. So, all right. So that is what we're doing right now. So. We're going to do the top of the feet right here, maybe a little bit lower, there we go. And we're going to just chop this out a little bit here. And we have one more week after this, and hopefully next week I'll have all my pieces um, painted of the nose arc to show you what the final result looks like, and we'll go from there. Now I'm going to cut... When you cut the face, you want to go straight in, okay? The, like, you want to go parallel to what the corner is. You don't want to go sideways because you don't want to cut into the face, but you want to go sideways. So, you want to kind of... And we'll cut that right out. They're slowly opening things in PA here. And I think after next week, we have... Uh, hello, Sandy. 
Um, I had a privilege of talking to some of you this week. It was, uh, it's nice to have put a voice with a name uh, for the most part, and uh, that was really nice that you folks have been uh, asking questions, and, you know, it's nice to meet some of you here over the phone. Um, the nice situation, we're up to somewhere around 80 right now. Most of you, uh, a lot of you got your knives or they're already in the mail this week. Um, but we will keep going until everybody's done. And once everybody's done, I'll have about 30 of these, maybe 25 left. I'll put these on, um, I'll put them on my webpage on the Square store on my online store that you can purchase them if you want. I want to make sure everybody that wants one gets one first and then I'll go ahead and, you know, I'm going to bring this down a little bit and start shaping the head a little bit more. All right, so we're going to, uh, I'm going to go to the smaller blade right now. We're going to just cut that out a little bit more. Okay, bring this right out. So no, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to sweep this out. Let me go to the larger blade. That's usually better for that. I'm going to do both sides. Okay. Because we're going to cut a lot out right in here. There's a lot to cut out. Hello, hello, everyone. Thanks for joining. I'm just going to keep cutting here until we get some more of this out. Okay. Now you can see where the ears are on him. We're going to have to um, take the head in a little further, but we're going to figure out where the ears go. And see how far back they go from the front? So we've got some more cutting to do here. This is only the second time I've done one of these, so just bear with me. Um, I don't always remember verbatim how I did these. So... Yes, the grinder got me the other day, and the knife got me at another spot, so it's not from carving, it's from doing these knives I've been doing the last week or so. I've got to learn when I'm fatigued, just like when I'm carving, to stop for a while. If you have any questions, I'll try to watch the screen here if you have any questions, and you know I'll be willing to, to uh, answer some questions for you. So... If I can. All right. And the other thing is we are going to try to figure out, once we get this back a little further, we're going to figure out where to go with the back of the, um, the mane here. Because the mane sticks out a little bit. And you notice it's right in between the two. This is going to be a little difficult to do, but you'll, you'll figure it out. Uh, next week when we do our little dove will be the last one and then after that I will have a new critter for the patriotic holidays. So I'm going to start rounding this off a little bit so we have a little better idea. This is the back side. Alright, so we're just going to round this off a little bit here. Remember that's, that's, when you look at the back, that's almost... To the top of the um, top of the hello Jim and Beth um, I'll get your knives ready this week your small knives um, I'm gonna go over a couple things with the knives at the end um, and I'll share a couple new things about that but you notice the main is is pretty high in the center so all I'm gonna do is start going across here and kind of have it and I'm going to try to figure out what the bo bottom part of that mane is on the back so I'm just going to measure it here it's about maybe an inch up or so alright you're welcome
Jim. Um, so we're going to take this. I will say the bigger knife is a heftier f feel to it than the small one. The small one is definitely a smaller. For people that have a smaller hand, it's good. And uh, I'll share something at the end about uh, something, especially if you have arthritis, what you can use. Now, I've been looking for that item to wrap around it, but it's not cost effective for me to get it and try to resend it. You may as well just go to Amazon and pick it up. Uh, you'll do just as, as well because um, I don't want to charge you more than what it's really worth to get it. Um, okay, so that's that portion of it. And we're going to round the butt off a little bit. You know, as I jump all over the place, that's just how I carve it, too. You know, I don't just stick with one thing. But uh, let's keep going here a little bit more. Hi, Debbie. All right. Now, let me see how see how much more we've got to take off of there quite a bit so we're just going to start trimming up this way again on both sides of the face up near the ears we'll worry about this portion down here later all right I'm going to cut some more off over here try to keep it as even as I can And let's see here. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm going to cut this out a little bit more because I kind of want them to not sit back like this. I want them to be almost straight up and down. So that's what I'm trying to do here. So let's push this around, chop a little more off here top of the head. There we go. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try to answer them as I see them. If I miss it, don't... Uh, <laughs> I'm not ignoring you if I happen to miss it. Um, but if you've ordered a knife, uh, you're still on my list. I'm going to have a new list in a couple of weeks. If I've missed you by any chance, you can try to reorder before I put them online. All right. So now, right now, what we're going to do is we need to put these ears in. So I'm going to just put a little, like a little a V, upside down, curved V for his ear. All right. We're going to do the same thing over here. Okay, and the mane's going to be right in the middle here. It's going to be a little bit lower, but not by much. So, the one thing I want to do is kind of bring it down. I'm trying to think if it's far enough back. It's not far enough back yet, but I'm going to start trimming this out a little bit. We'll worry about... I'm going to do it right next to the head. And uh, try to trim that out a little bit. And this will all come together. Usually does. Okay. And then this one, because I'm cutting from the top here. And we're going to bring this back a little bit. We can cut this off a little bit here. A little bit over here as well. take a look at it. Yeah, it's still not back far enough, but we'll keep going at it here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just put a deep cut in with the knife. A deep V cut just with the knife. That will give me a real good feel where this, because if we have to cut that ear back a little bit more, I want to keep the mane in the center. So I'm just cutting it straight in from the ear, uh, straight back following that line that I have there and we're going to just cut it out a little bit and 
just like so. Okay. Yeah, very good. That's what we want. So I'm going to bring this back, and then we'll figure out how far back we're going to go here. Okay? We're going to just bring this back, and this we're going to just do a big V cut. All right? We'll figure out this in a second here, and I'm going to take this back a little bit more. Now that we know where the ears are, we don't have to worry so much about afraid to take too much off. All right. So I'm going to go back a little further with the face on the side here, especially underneath where underneath here. We definitely want to go a little deeper. And on the side. thing over here. So we have about, after this week, we have two more weeks to go, and then I'm going to stop for a little bit. I'll come back in a couple weeks after that. But since summer is coming along, and people are more apt to do things in the summer, um, it might be better to, uh, to wait. I'm going to bring this back a little bit more, too. This is the hardest part, is figuring out how far back you're going to go with his ears and his face. This all has to be swept out yet. There's going to be a lot of cutting here. I don't know why I lost everybody, but I did. I'm sorry, folks. Sorry about that. I don't know why I lose it all the time. I'm right next to the router. I don't know what I could do more. Plus, I up the speed on my internet thing, so that's... I'm going to start shaping around the body a little bit more because uh, that will give me a better feel um, when uh, I have other things that uh, need to be addressed here. Yes, I am back. So, you know, we'll see how things go here. I'm going to keep trimming this off on both sides because this really has to come down quite a bit. All right, I'm going to do the feet right now. I'm going to just bring this in over, and we're going to just cut that out. We're going to follow that foot. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. Uh, I don't know why it turns off, but it does. It drives me nuts when it does that. Because then I have to... It takes me longer to put it on YouTube later because of that. Because I have to merge the two videos together, and that takes some time. Last time I did it, it was about midnight before I had it all figured out. All right, so we're doing... This portion right here, we're going to just cut this out a little bit more. 
and just cut it out. There we go. I'm going to do the other foot. This is a sitting zebra. But, um, so I'm going to go in the back part of this foot and I'm going to just follow this back a little bit. And I'm just going to cut that out with the knife. We're going to do the same thing over here on this side. Just bring it up and around. And uh, we'll bring this in a little bit. So the feet are now sticking out. And then we'll do the front foot here in a little bit. All right, now let me think here. We got that done. I got this portion over here we gotta pull out a little bit. All right. Let's get the front feet out as well because we have a little, if you look here, he's got little, um, little legs in the front. So, so tiny. But it, they're there, so let's cut. Let's cut this off here. Follow the feet in the front. Warm chocolate tonight. <laughs> anyway, all right. So I'm gonna cut this out a little bit more. And we're going to define that a little bit more as well. There we go. There we go. And we're going to do the other side as well. We're going to cut that out. And I usually round that off a little bit on the sides here. On the body and the feet meet. Hopefully I won't lose you guys again. I'm right next to the router. I upped my speed. I did all kinds of stuff, and it doesn't seem to do make any difference. I think it depends on how many people are online and all that. There's no more about that. You can maybe explain it to me. But, um... It was a beautiful day today. And we've had, uh... We've had a lot of rain, too, on and off all the weekend, but it's better now. Okay, so we're going to put a little line down the center right here to separate the feet. Take a little V-tool. Yes, uh, it was in the 60s today. Uh, it's still a little cool, which I don't mind. Usually we had a lot of hot weather by now, but on and off. But uh, I still have a small heater on at night, and most people do here because it gets down into the 40s at night. Um, but for the most part, uh, it works out pretty good. I can't, um, I can't complain. Mowed the grass at least three or four times now, three times I think. So. I just planted all my flowers out on the deck, so that was done yesterday. I don't think we'll get any more frost. All right, so on the side here, when let's see if we can cut this back just a tiny bit more, so that sticks out a little bit more. All right. I'm getting some good reviews on the knife. Um, some people are really shocked how sharp it is. 
Um, I try not to let it leave here unless it passes my expectations on it. And uh, I, I think uh, most of you are, are enjoying it, which I'm happy to hear. Uh, so. Okay, so let's just take this rough stuff off. If you don't take this rough stuff off, you're, it's going to paint kind of strange. So you want to make sure you take all this rough stuff off your... What I mean by rough stuff is this, this stuff here. Um, when you go to paint it, because it's rough, it's going to come up darker, especially if you do darker colors. White is not a huge deal, but if you do any browns or anything like that, it can it can look different. Okay, so let me figure out how much further I'm going to go with this head here. Let me take it back just a tiny bit more. I'm just not happy with where that is right now and so let's just slice another piece off of there okay yeah that looks pretty good i'm going to round the face until i'm comfortable with how i like it and then we'll put the ears in i'm going to round the bottom face of his nose and stuff um we'll put those little sad eyes in them Okay, Rusty, thank you. I found the dimensions written down, so if you still want them, I can I can text them to you or, or message them to you. Um, there's a definite difference between the two knives. One is definitely smaller than the others, and um, this has a heavier feel to it. The larger one... Um, I'm taking all the rough stuff off here. And next week will be our last week with this little guy. Um, and I want this kind of flat, so I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Okay, Rusty. I'll make a mental note of that, but uh, please uh, remind me. All right. I'm going to bring this back just a tiny bit more. Let me see here. Well, this will tell me how far. Yeah, looks good. All right, so we're going to go all the way down to the, his head there. Thank you. And we're going to chop some of this out. But we're going to figure out where his mane is going to go here. So we're going to just put a little line around like this for now on both sides of the mane. And then I take my V tool and I make my first initial cut. And we go from there, we go to him. Um, there we go. Some carving people have been meeting uh, here and there. Um, I know there's um, the William Rush has been meeting. They said on on Wednesdays, so I may end up going there in the summer sometime and seeing what that's like. William Rush is over near Media. Okay, so now we've got to cut this out. So we're going to just bring this down straight with our knife. Okay, we're just going to hack this out a little bit. Very slowly, you just want to take your time. Remember, the ears are going to be right here, so they kind of come up a little bit, and they come down like so. So I'm going to just cut more off right now so we have, 
I have plenty of room for everything, okay? So I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to cut more out eventually, okay? But for right now, we're just going to cut that out. Usually when you do a carving, you go from the side, the side profile, but for this, it was a little different for me. So I'm just going to start that out. I'll do the same thing over here. We're going to just kind of make it the same size, a little wider. We can always trim it back later. Okay. There's no harm in making it bigger where you can have to, you can always take more wood off. It's harder to put it back on. And that's what beginners are always afraid of, you know, that they'll end up chopping off too much. But, um, and that has happened for people. I'm not saying it doesn't, but most, more likely than not, they don't take enough wood off because they're afraid to. And I can understand that reasoning. All right, so we're just going to start packing that back here. There we go. All right. Now, the same thing, we're going to cut on this side of the main. I'm going to take it all the way up to where the ear is. And you want to be real careful here. You know, you want to, but you're going across the grain, so it's going to be a little different. That's why it's a little tougher to cut it. But if your knife is sharp, you should be able to do that. All right. Some people ask if it's hard to open these knives. If you don't have good fingernails, it's going to, look, going to be a little tougher to open these bigger ones. But for the most part, you know, I've been opening a couple, a hundred, a couple of hundred times, and I've had no problem with these. Sometimes they can be a little stiff, especially the larger ones. Uh, you just have to work a little bit um, and get them going, um, opening and closing them. But for the most part, they work out pretty good. Now, of course, the smaller one's a lot easier. There's not quite the tension. This this goes in two sections when it closes. This one is just one. It just closes on its own. Okay. Um, again, they're not lock, lock knives at all. All right, so let's keep going here. I'm going to round the ear off towards the front for a minute here to give me a little more room. All right. So right here, you can see how far down I have to go here. Right here, I'm going to have to slice it out again and kind of bring it down to where the head is because the head's kind of where it starts. And the ears, where I did this three times, folks, normally I don't do a carving that often, but for some reason I had a mental block. So if you have mental block on some, we all have it. You know, not a, not it doesn't work always the first time. For me, I'm pretty lucky in the sense that I can, I can carve something the first time and it works out, but it doesn't always work that way. So see how we have this now? Okay, so we're going to bring this down a little bit more. And I'm just going to try to okay and then we're going to do the other side the same way bring it down behind the ear now this ear is a little bit too thick so we're going to just take it back a little bit there we go You want to be real careful when you do this because you can snap something off. Needless to say, I'm not getting a lot of carving them. Okay, so the mane is a little bit shorter than the ear. So we're going to take some of this mane off. We're going to trim it down a little bit. And we're going to just very slowly... Make it a little bit lower than the ear. Okay.
Okay, see, so it's a little bit lower. So, and we still have more here to do, but we'll figure that out. So let's grim this up a little bit more. Okay. And his neck is really small. You see how much of uh, the neck I take off? See how much more I have to do yet? It's quite a quite a different... Um, I'm going to spray it with the bottle just to make it a little bit easier. What I use is a mixture of uh, rubbing alcohol and water. Uh, the 70% rubbing alcohol to, um, you know, so to make it a little bit easier. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. So, let me take a look at this. So we're going to come down a little bit more here. We're going to just chop that out. We're going to start making it do a little bit more uh, detail here. All right. And you can see how far, I almost have to go to where, how far, how thin the head is. All right. So I'm just going to keep scooping out. Okay, well, I'm almost there on that side. I'll just keep scooping out. I knew this was going to be a lot of cutting on this one because of the neck. He looks kind of chubby on the bottom, but, you know, it's a caricature. It's fine. All right. So, you want to make a chest set, this is how you can do it. No, I'm not going to make a chest set. I thought of it, but I thought, no, 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 no. I won't start that. Some people have made hillbilly chest sets. Uh, they carve them. They're pretty cool. I knew one guy in our club did that in Lancaster. It turned out really nice. Okay, so I'm going to trim this down a little bit more. We're going to bring this down around to the front. Tuck that in a little bit. And we're going to start rounding the ear off towards the front. Okay. Just towards the front. Now we're going to get rid of that corner right there. There we go. Top that out. All right. Now I'm going to go in here again. And I'm just going to double make that, make sure we have a distinct difference between the ear and the mane. Okay, just like so. All right. All right. You can make this come out just a tad more if you want. Just a little bit. Blend that a little bit more. And I'm just going to scoop that out a little bit more. That's... That's exactly where I want it. Perfect. Same thing over here. I'm going to just do a little bit more. And there we go. And you got to just fuss with it, folks. If it doesn't look right, you just keep going with it. Hi, Susie. All right, now I'm going to go to the back for a second, and we're going to put this little, little tail in there. Okay, so I'm going to have it, like, coming out over here. Okay, we're going to put, like, a little, and his tail's going to come down and around there. It's going to come back up over here, and we'll have a little tail going here. I know their tails aren't that thick. Let's make it a bit smaller. There we go. All right. So let's just take the V tool and we'll just kind of follow that outline a little bit. Hello, Nancy. I'll get your knife out tomorrow. I wasn't able to go to the post office today. So, but. 
I won't forget the familiars tomorrow. Okay. And up a little bit. There we go. We'll do this little... When I do corners, a lot of times I move the carving more than I move my hand to get it. And um, let's just bring this down. Let's outline it a little bit better with the knife. So it has a little more detail. Get it? Detail? Okay. I know that wasn't funny. Anyhow. Uh, we're going to come up this way and we're going to just chop that out. And we've got to do his front legs yet, so we'll get to it. Uh, a couple of people asked me to carve them a Noah's Ark. Uh, I think once enough in my lifetime. <laughs> I, uh, if I ever get the urge to do a bunch of animals, and I can do maybe six or seven, but the problem with, with Noah's Ark, you got to make two of everything. But I also said to someone today, I might add more animals as we go. You know, we already have the main set made. And maybe down the road we'll do another animal or two and we'll add it to it. If you're if you're interested in me doing that, let me know what your feedback is on that. Um, it's just a thought I have uh, I've 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 thought of, and uh, you know I think it might be interesting in adding a couple of different animals to it later on when when we're done doing some Santas. We need to start doing some Santas for Christmas, believe it or not. Um, if we don't start that now, we're not going to have enough time for you to get some things done. And I'm getting kind of wiped out with my carvings here. Somebody keeps buying them, and I haven't replaced a whole lot of them. So I don't know what I'm going to have by Christmas. And plus, the knives are taking so much of my time right now to make. Um, you know, uh, that took a good part of my weekend to do the 15 or so that I had done. So I'm going to just kind of blend this in, get rid of this rough stuff that's on here. Uh, I'm glad you like the zebra. And uh, yes, I will do more animals. We'll, and I'll do them this size or the three and a half inch. Uh, pro probably the sizes that I already sell because that way you don't have to order different ones. I wanted to make sure that when I started selling these blocks that I wasn't having like 15 different sizes. I think I have three different sizes right now. And then a couple of different ones for the uh, for the pine cone. So, um, yeah. I think it might be interesting to do... Um, I'm going to outline this a little bit more with the V-Tool. It just gives it a nice, clean, crisp look to it. Kind of finishes it up for me. There we go. There we go. So uh, I will do that. An anteater. <laughs> I wouldn't know how to do an anteater. I would have to look at that. But really, folks, you can take the ones I've already done, like the birds, like the cardinals, or the um, the chickadees. You could do them in a smaller block. You know, you could do any of these in a block, any size. This is not, I'm showing you how to do it on a shorter block, but you can also do different sizes of the animals in different size block. As long as it's square and you're working from the corner, you can make it taller if you want. Um, I try to squeeze everything into this ornament size. Number one, I think it's easier for people to display them. And a lot of people like them for the tree. And so, you know, you can take some of the old, um, the other ones like the cats and, and stuff if you want to add that to um, to Noah's Ark. But uh, I'll see what other animals there might be that I could add to it. Uh, I won't do it right away, but it will be something later on. Maybe towards fall or maybe next year. Sounds like I'm going to be around for a while doing this. Uh, 
Okay, so we have that pretty well thinned out to where I, I'm comfortable with it because you want to see a little bit of the neck. So when you put your lines on that you can see them. All right, so let's do the front here with the with the foot, with the legs, with the short little legs. So what I do is from the side here, I just go up straight up. And from here, go straight up. Well, that looks a little crooked. Let's try, a, <laughs> let's try to even him out a little bit. Um, okay, so I'm going to take my V-tool, and I'm going to follow this line to, to his head there. Let's see, what time is it? Oh, we're doing pretty good time-wise. I try to hurry all the time, and I should just take my time. takes an extra five min minutes. It takes an extra five minutes. But... Um, Um, yeah, and I'm going to show you something with the knives at the end here, what, what you can do if you have arthritis or if you're, like, I'm beginning to, well, my shoulders are more arthritic than anything else right now, but, um, there's not much I can do about that. I think we're talking about, uh, shoulder replacement. I thought, uh-uh, no, 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 not yet, or some kind of surgery. Not yet. might I he didn't say for sure but all right so we have his little foot there and I'm gonna go a little bit deeper because I like the way they stick out here and I like the way it looks so I'm gonna do a little bit of a v-cut there all right and see how it makes it stick out a little bit more and we'll do this here as well um, it was nice outside yesterday. I was out there with my patio heater and watching, seeing the flowers I had just put in. It will be a nice place to do some carving this this summer if it's not too hot. The problem here in PA it can get so hot and muggy. Um, okay, so we're going to go right up the center here from where the feet are, and we're going to go straight up. Uh, and I think I'll do the rest with a regular knife. It's just as easy sometimes to do your V-cut with a knife. Uh, the V-tool the v is a very handy tool. You know, if you don't have one, it's it would be well worth for you to get one. Um, most of you already have one, which is great. And you know the advantages of having one and not. Um, I didn't always use a V-tool because I was hesitant because of sharpening it. Okay, so there we go. No, I still have to fill up the holes of the posts that I pulled out. I bush togged it last week, um, last weekend I think it was, and not this weekend, the weekend before. And uh, I think I'm going to forgo, the, we're going to work on the front fence with my neighbor. We, I talked to her today and we're going to get together with a few people and see if we can get that knocked out. It's good to have some neighbors and, and an extra couple of hands uh, to get things done. And uh, we talked about that today. I have all the, the stuff. We just need the manpower to put it together. So... And if we both have tractors and stuff, we should get it knocked out. And we both agreed. You know, we work a little bit now and then on it. We'll get it done by midsummer, probably. Okay, we're going to do this portion right here. This is the tail end. And all you do is put a little beat cut, and you're going to put a few little things in here. There we go. All right, so that's the tail. And then I'm going to just round this off a little bit so it goes more to a point instead of flat. Okay. And we're going to texture that in just a second. But we, we're also going to do the inside... <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm going to put a little, uh, like a horseshoe thing over here to do the inside of his foot. And I just make it a gray, it gives it some contrast, right, when you paint it. Painting it was quite 
a little bit of a struggle for me because when I first did it, a friend of mine says his stripes are way too big. And I thought, yeah, they are. So if you put smaller stripes on them, it looks a little better. Sometimes they have, you know, if you look at character trues, they have stripes all over them. Well, it was too busy, if you know what I mean. It was just way too busy for me. So I thought, no, I'll put these little, like, little stripes around the outside of his head so the eyes pop out a little more. And um, I, I will... Um, I will see if, uh, you know, and doing, just look at pictures. That's what, that's how I do a lot of my painting. I look at stuff on, on Google. And that usually helps me determine, you know, how I want to do. So I'm going to take my little V tool. I was happy with the lines on this one, but boy, the first couple was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> how am I going to do this? And uh, it worked out just fine. You know, sometimes it takes a couple of times to paint stuff. You know, um, it's like carving. It doesn't always work the way you think it's going to work. And uh, that's just part of it. I was just talking to somebody else. You know, the painting is not something they like to do either. And uh, I'm not a fan of painting. But once I get into it, it's okay. So, let me, so that's the, I'll clean that up a little more when we get off line here. And then the same thing here, I'm just going to do it with a knife, it's just as easy sometimes. You get a nicer, cleaner cut with a, um, with a V-tool, but you can also just do it with a knife. Okay, so there's the two little horseshoes on either side. And this is separated here, so that looks okay. Um, now, to do the inside of the ear, well, we're going to do the outside of the ear first, and we're going to finish that off. Let's just bring this down. And you're just rounding the back part of the ear. If you look at horses' ears, they, they're rounded. And... Uh, So, again, you just want to kind of make sure you have separation between the ear. So that's kind of rounded there. And we'll do the same thing over here. Round it towards the front. And then how do I do the hole in the center? Well, that's pretty simple. What I do is I take my knife and I jab it in there pretty far. Okay. I don't go all the way. Uh... Good. I'm glad you're with us. I'm glad you're with us. Uh, when I when I do this, I don't go from edge to edge. I just do it in the center. Okay? And then I take my V tool. Because it just seems easier to me sometimes to start with the V tool. Because you can really mess it up just using a knife. And that's all I do is I just keep following it through with a V tool on one side and the other side. And I clean it up a little bit. Then I take the knife, and I might go a little further in, but it just helps you know where to go when you use a when you use a uh, V tool. And I'll clean that up because I can't see it really well from where I'm sitting. So, um, all right. So there you go. There's the one ear. All right. Now we'll do the next one. Now you can do it with a knife, and I'll do it this one with just with the knife. And you keep it at an angle like you do with a V-tool. All right, and you bring it all the way down. Then I'll go all the way up. You want to be careful not to go all the way to the top. And then you're just going to cut it out. You're, it's almost like chip carving, but see, it's not free up there. You don't want to pull that. All right, you don't want to pull that. <laughs> and I pulled it. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, well. But it didn't rip it out. So this is how we do this portion. Now, um, to do the mane, it's pretty simple. I should have 
clean this up a little bit more here and, and taking this down a little bit more here so it's rounded. So it looks about the same on both sides. All right. And then we're going to turn it this way. Let me turn this off a little bit more. When you use these knives, it's important to strap them. I, I kind of use them. You should be doing it like every 25 minutes to 45 minutes when you do it. So now you're going to take your V-tool. And these are pretty deep cuts. So all I'm going to do is go straight. I'm going to go from here. And we're going to just... Nice. And if your VTOL is nice and sharp, you should have no problem doing this. Okay. And this can be a little tricky up here. So we're just going to do a couple in the front here. All the way from the bottom up. There we go. And then I'm going to go from here. And we're going to go from the other side. Make sure you keep your hand out of the way. You notice I held my thumb on here so it really controls it. I'm not... I'm not doing this and it's going all over the place. You always rest your thumb on your piece. And that and you're using this part this part of your hand to push. And if you're not comfortable with that, I would definitely um I would definitely uh make sure now I'm gonna go in a little bit different direction just to give it a little bit of a different look to it. And uh Okay, so there's the main. All right, that wasn't too difficult to do. Um, now, the last thing we have to do is the eyeballs. And I do all my eyes basically the same. Um, I put a little, uh, I, I, well, the other thing we need to do is put his little nose in there yet. So let's figure out where we're going to put this nose. And we got to put a couple of nostrils in yet. Okay, so that looks about right. Uh, so I'm going to use a little V tool, and we're going to cut that straight across, and just very lightly. You don't want to go too deep. Just very, very, very lightly. You just want to kind of distinguish between one and the other. All right, just a little, little line. I can tell it's getting a little dull. You see those little lines that are popping up. It's time to strop that. Let's see if I have another one here I can use. I should have enough tools here that uh, I don't need to do too much. Well, that one's even worse because I need to throw that one as well. But, um, you know, i got to put it on that wheel that I have. So that will work. All right, so that's what we have there. And then what I do is I just take, I just bring it down so the nose sticks out a little bit. All right, that's it. Just take that hard edge off. There you go. There you go. All right. Now, the other thing, let's see if I have the right tool. Of course I don't. Oh, yes, I do. Perfect. He's got little nostrils in. So what I do is I just kind of make a circle over here. Kind of the size that I need. I'm sorry. I'll try to keep this in focus here. And we'll put a little nose in. So what I do is I take my... I thought that was a... Oh, here it is. I take it and I turn my piece. Now, you notice I have it in there just a tiny bit. And I leave one section out. Hello, Lori. And I just turn my piece the whole time. I'm not turning my thing. I'm turning my carving. There you go. I just popped out his nose. There's one. And I'll do the other side the same way. And hopefully they'll match. Just stick it in a little bit. Keep one corner out. And just kind of follow it. And that way you get a nice little perfect little round nose. Okay. There's the two, two holes for the nose. And now the last part we're going to do is the eyes. So what I do is I do a slant that way, and a diagonal, 
and I kind of try to make them identical if I can in the shape and then the angle that I have it. Now this one has it more up and down, which we can do. I'll bring that down a little bit more. I'll take this down a little bit more. And then I Okay, let's cut. The first thing you want to do is take your knife and you're going to cut on that line. You're going to go in pretty deep, all right? You don't have to be shy about. And then you're going to cut right. You're going to cut that out. Well, that didn't work the way I thought. Okay, let's do it again. And then we're going to just follow that out, okay? Just couple swigs out of there. And you're going to do the same thing over here on this side. And then I'm going to All right. Now Now you notice I have usually I have this a little bit longer so let's let's do this a little bit longer and I'm going to do this one a little bit longer and a little bit deeper you can see where the eye is going to merge from that it's just this gives you the eyebrow it gives you a good sense of that you're not too far off because they look pretty well identical. They're always going to be a little bit different. And don't let that fool you, okay? That's just the way. Now I'm going to spray it a little bit. It just helps it for me to... And we're going to... And... I usually take the V-tool for this, unless they're not the V-tool, this one, and I usually go up to the top first, and to the side, all right, now that didn't free up, I take my knife and I clean it out a little bit, right there, if I can get that out, okay, that just gives me guidance where to take my knife, and again, I turn the piece more than I turn my hand okay so there's the one eye but I'm not done with it yet because I want it deeper so let's see if I can get a different knife here with a little bit more of a point to it let's see if this one will work well we'll see so I'm going to dig it out I'm going to cut around that edge, and we're going to cut it from the inside, just like so. That's it. All right. Now, these little knives that I have, they're great for detail. They really are. Um, okay, so there's the one eye, but I'm going to round that off a little bit. And then I go from the outside to make that eye look a little bit bigger. I go from the outside and I just do another little V cup and flatten it out a little bit. So there, take that hard edge off of there. All right, and that's all I do. All right, so that's one eye. <laughs> now the next one. Now the hard part is matching them. So we're going to go up this way. I'm going to go down a little bit lower than that line because I can tell that's not exactly even. And we're going to go right up. Okay. Oh, that looks pretty even to me. All right. So I take my knife again and I'm going to cut down and around just like so. It's okay. And then we're going to cut from the inside of the eye. If I make this look easy, folks, I've done hundreds of these, so it comes with practice. 
You know, it really does. Now you could make this into a donkey, or you can make it into a horse, or you can make it into a zebra. But I noticed that the zebras really have that mane in the middle sticking up. So now I'm going to go around to the outside and cut that hard edge off. Clean it up. And folks, there is our little fat <laughs> uh, zebra. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me show you a couple of things before you run off. Um, some of you have arthritis in your hands, and I know this one is actually a lot smaller than the main one. Um, they cost me a little more to purchase, but, um, you know, they, they work pretty well. So uh, what I've done with some of my carvings, I put this... Uh, uh, this blue foamy stuff. And I try to look for it. I don't know where to find it. But I found it on um, Amazon. And if you slide it right over top, you have to be careful. It's a nice cushion in your hand if it's too small. Um, and it will fit over this one as well. It's a little tighter because it's a little bit wider than the others but you can slip this on it's hard to get it off once you put it on but you can get it up and over the other thing you can also do with this let me get it apart again and show you what i've done with if you cut it in sections it's easier to get get it on and off so if you put it in one inch sections you can do that i've done that already so if you want this you can get on amazon all you have to look for is arthritic grips and uh they have a bag i think it's like 19 nine dollars or something for it but it comes with three of these blue tubes and that's what you need for the smaller ones i will i will share with you the amazon thing i was gonna buy these but they're not cost effective for me to buy them and to reship them so you may as well just get it from Amazon um, if, if you can do so. Uh, but you can get like four or five knives. At least two or three at a month. Uh, you need them. So uh, there is only one company that makes this particular kind that I know of. And I went into Lowe's to see if they had it there. They didn't have it there either. So um, it's a thought. I'll try to put the link on later on. When I, excuse me folks, when I put the, um, when I put the video up, it's going to take me a while because now I've got to put two videos together because the other one stopped. But I hope you enjoyed this zebra and then let me bring the other one out. Uh, this will be our last one. Will be our little, our little dove. Okay, that's going to be our last one. I'll give you the dimensions in that later when we have the class. I'll have the dimensions in the description. So, folks, it's always been a pleasure. Uh, we'll have two more weeks of, well, one more week with this, and then I'll have a critter for Memorial Day and Fourth of July, a patriotic critter. So, um, you know, I think he turned out pretty good today. I, I'm going to just do a little bit of touch-up on him, and then hopefully I'll have all these painted next week. Okay, thank you very much folks and uh, God bless you. Take care and be safe. Bye-bye.